Okay, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today to celebrate with Colton and his family. It's always a special occasion when one of our student athletes takes his academic and athletic talents to the next level. On behalf of West Lawrence High School, teammates, coaches, fans, family, congratulations to Colton and his family. Best of luck. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a great day to be a Raider. We're here at West Lawrence High School, and we've got Colton Davis, who has signed a scholarship to Toccoa Falls. Colton, congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel right now? As you're looking around this room, you see your family, friends, oh, people that you've known all your life. What does it feel like right now for you? Uh, it's great. <laughs> you know, Colton, you've always been a, a man of many words. <laughs> and so great, that's how you describe it, right? So when you think about your life of how you started out, tell us a little history about you, Colton, when you first started out playing and what other sports you play and what it feels like other than great, what it feels for you right now, this culminating event, all the hard work that you put in, all the long hours, and now here you are living the dream. Um, so I remember playing rec soccer and being like on all the all-star teams, feeling special because you know like I get to be better than everybody else, you know, <laughs> play on the all-star teams. And then I jumped a couple of sports, tennis, football, football is not for me. Uh, <laughs> and then finally decided on soccer, like ninth grade, I decided that I wanted to do it like in college. So we started, got my account together, all the videos and having to work on all those and then individual practices and team practices and conditioning, thanks, um, <laughs> and all that. So just to see it finally come to not an end, but like a different beginning is very good. Yeah, this is a new season for you. Now, Coach Nate, share with us about this young man right here. And of course, you've seen the um, you've seen his work ethic. You've seen uh, how he, you know, improved uh, through the years. Talk to us a little about about Colton as an athlete and why seeing him where he is right now and where he's going is so special for you. Okay. Um, with Colton, uh, his, his work ethic on the field has always been uh, second to none. He's always going to try to work as hard as he possibly can. Um, sometimes he, he needs a little motivation sometimes. Right, right. We, we give him that. But um, um, as an athlete, uh, he's got all the, the tools that you need to be an athlete uh, to play at a high level. Um, I do think that once you saw Colton fully commit to the sport, you saw his performance take off and his commitment came to another level as right. well. So, And Colton, you know, what is your motivation? I mean, what really makes you go after it each and every day? Um, for me, it's kind of the fans more so. Like I like, I like to put on a show a little bit. <laughs> but, <laughs> like now, like now I would think. <laughs> but yeah, mostly that. I mean, I push myself enough just to be like where I wouldn't, I didn't want to mess up in front of yeah. crowds. So. Might as well be good at it, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Coach, brag on, brag on him a little bit about some of his accolades, if you would. Okay. Um, I know to this point um, right now he is, uh, I think he's the team leader with 12 goals. Mm -hmm. uh, he has two assists. He is um, like in the top four or five in our point total points leaders right. for the season. This is just through seven games. So uh, we're really excited about the production that we're getting from him in the position that he's at. Uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. And so yeah. for him to be producing at this level is outstanding. Wow. And I think it's above what our expectations to a certain degree as well. Yeah. And you know, Colton, would you say this is a little bit bittersweet for you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, I like, it's like a whole new team. So like yeah. I've, I've gotten to know all these uh, boys through this whole time. So it'll be different. But. But here it goes. And for you, you know, the relationship you have with your coach, what is it that you would like to say to him? Because, you know, I think that that relationship is very important. Any athlete and the coach, I mean, of course, he or she's going to push you uh, toward greatness. And, you know, it's not always good days, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's an end goal at the end. So what do you want to say to Coach Nate? Um, I just want to say thank you to Coach Nate because um, he's put me in almost every position on the field at this point. And finally, maybe put me at the one I might stay at. <laughs> um, but I appreciate even when I came to your house and talked to you about soccer for hours and you didn't really want to listen, but you listened to me anyway. <laughs> and, <laughs> and for pushing me on the field, because I know sometimes I, I don't want to be there and you know it. So <laughs> I appreciate you pushing me and keeping me going. Very good. Now, Coach Nate, what kind of words of advice do you want to give Colton? Because we all realize and we know that 
uh, high school sports and college sports, those are, even though it's the same sport, it's a, a whole nother level for you. And there's so much that he's going to have to do, the sacrifices that he makes now, and he'll see an increase in that um, academically as well as athletically in college. So what words of wisdom or encouragement would you like to give this young man? Um, you know, first of all, I was going to say that um, a lot of the, the coach-player interactions that Colton and I have have them because we have very similar personalities. And so we kind of butt heads <laughs> sometimes. Um, so that, that is some motivation for, for both of us. Um, but just words as, of advice as he moves forward is just to continue to be intrinsically motivated, continue to motivate yourself, continue to strive to be the best. Um, when it comes to playing at the next level, sometimes it doesn't always revolve around wins and losses. As much as we want it to and as much as that really um, allows us uh, to potentially be positive about our play, I think that we can be positive about our athleticism and our play mm -hmm. and continue to grow within the sport whether we're winning all the time or not. Right. Very good. Well done. Thank you so much, Coach Absolutely. Nate Smith, for all you do to pour into these young men and women. No problem. Thank Nate you. Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, folks. I'm John Nichols. I'm general manager at the uh, newly built uh, Bug House Pest Control Office here in Centerville, Georgia on Houston Lake Road, uh, where we've had a number of people, uh, companies that have been involved in trying to get this uh, building up and, and come in this office uh, ready. And, and one of those is A-plus flooring uh, and construction, uh, Kyle Gerard, uh, really had a major play in everything that happened with this building to get it to where it is today. Very, very pleased with his work and his uh, uh, his professionalism and, and number one, talking and, and making sure things are done right, but also uh, as far as examples and uh, 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 flooring and, and colors and stuff like that, really made a major difference as far as getting the building built. Uh, very thankful with, uh, with how it went about and how Kyle was very helpful, answered all the questions that he could. Um, and, and if he couldn't, then he got back with me and was very um, timely in making sure that that happened. But I just want to give a shout out to A-plus flooring and construction and tell Kyle, we appreciate you. You did a fantastic job. We're very thankful for our new building. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. All right, we've got his lovely mom, Miss Stacy, with us. How are you, Stacy? I am great. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, isn't it? It is. All Very of your exciting. years of hard work. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Share with us a little bit about Colton. Of course, I mean, you've got three children, mm -hmm. a set of twins, mm -hmm. and now here this is happening for Colton. Talk to us a little bit about his many years in sports and, and the up and down the roads that you have spent, you all have spent time away from home, sacrificing for your kids. Talk to us about Colton. Well, Colton from the get-go was the twin that was just getting around everywhere, and he was my little vacuum cleaner. He would find bugs, and he would do that. So I knew he was going to have some athleticism about him. Um, and as we started, he started from very, very young playing. Um, they started with baseball, and they, did some, and they started with soccer. And soccer was just the game that was really exciting for him. Right. He could move. He was constantly moving. Um, and he just, he just wanted to continue with that. Um, and so we have been up and down many, many roads, yeah. but we have loved every minute of it. We're so blessed um, with our three children and um, just the opportunity that Tacoa and Coach Hugh has given Colton to, um, to go to a different level has just been awesome blessing for us as a family. Um, and I'm very thankful that God has provided the opportunity, that God gave him yeah. the talent, gifts, and abilities to be able to go to a different level and play. That's right, that's right. Colton, talk to us about your relationship with your mom. Lord. <laughs> that's, oh, that's dangerous. Um, I, I love my mom, but sometimes, you Did know. Did you say but? A but. Yeah. <laughs> However. However. Uh, um, sometimes, you know, I'm forgetful. Like, I'm, I don't know if I have ADHD, it's not diagnosed. But <laughs> if, if she tells me to wash the clothes, I might just forget to wash the clothes. Right. So, and sometimes that goes a little, arrive but she keeps me on my toes for sure <laughs> and I do the same. So yeah, you does. know 
you're going to be pretty much on your own, right? So how are you going to get your laundry done? I'm just asking, you know, for a friend. Great question. <laughs> because, you know, what's interesting, though, is because, uh, and you can look around your room, you look at your friends. They're so used to, like, having parents, moms and dads, aunts and uncles, grandparents, right there. And so you're going to be a little over three hours away from home, but you still are going to have to do some transitioning and growing up yourself. Right. Are you ready for that? Yes. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Stacy, as a mom, now you already know that you like to be so very involved in your children's life. You like to have a hand on them, you know. And so now things are, you know, of course your daughter's transitioned, and now mm -hmm. here's your son. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for all of this? No. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma says, says no. <laughs> I'm getting there. Yeah, I will get there because, it, it, like I said, it's just a great opportunity for him, and he will he will grow as he as he leaves. And um, you know, we just we will continue to support him. We will continue to travel those roads yes. to Coa to watch him play. Um, so now that's exciting. Just, isn't it? it is. It's exciting. Mm -hmm, very exciting. And you know, Colton, I know that um, you're you're very have a tight knit family. You're all very close. You're very close to your friends here. Uh, what things do you think that you're really going to have to to work on to make sure that you're staying focused in the classroom as well as on that soccer field? Um, I think I'll just have to make sure that although I'm playing soccer, like I'm also like in school, like full time. So oh, I yeah. have to make sure I balance my academics with my athletics and make sure that neither suffer. Right. And, yeah. You're going to have about two or three practices a day. You ready for that? Yeah. <laughs> Stacy, what kind of what kind of words do you want to give uh, to Colton? Because you've raised him in a God fearing home. Uh, you've instilled things within him and within your children that you hope that uh, that it does not ever leave them. Mm -hmm. What words do you want to give to your son Colton right now? You don't let me call that. <laughs> and this is an emotional time. I mean, you know. It's just been, what, three years since Hannah signed. And so, you know, I understand that. And so you've got to take it all in as a mom. And it's okay to be emotional because this is your baby. You know, as forgetful as he is. Exactly. <laughs> this is your baby. So what do you want to say to him? Because you want him to take everything that you all have instilled within him and to be the man of God that we he's do. been called to be. So what do you yeah. want to say to Colton? I just want you to know that we love you very, very much and that you have been brought up in a Christian home and we just want you to continue along the Christian pathway for the Lord because the Lord's totally blessed you with so many blessings. Um, but we are very, very proud of you. Could not be prouder of, of the young man that you have turned out to be. And we can't wait to see what God's gonna do further. All right, very good. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you. All right, we've got his dad with us, Mr. Emery Davis. How are you? I'm good. You are all ready to go. You, I mean, just look at, you've got your gear all ready. <laughs> You, you, are you ready uh, to be that college soccer dad and to release him into the world? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Talk to us about the relationship that you have with Colton, okay? It's good. We, uh, it's, it's a good opportunity to get to, uh, to coach him. I told, uh, told somebody, I said, it's kind of neat how we tricked him into letting me get paid to coach him. <laughs> it works out pretty good. <laughs> Talk so. to us about your dad. Um, for him as a soccer coach, uh, repetitive. <laughs> definitely, definitely know to go to the outside, guys. <laughs> if you didn't, um, but it's it's good to have him there, like, cause like right when you leave the game, like you could talk to him as a dad, but also as a coach. So like on the way home, we'll talk through like who did what, what happened in the game, and he can talk to us from like we did good as like a father and he can talk to us as we did good or we did bad as a soccer coach. So it's it's nice to have that like bounce like right, rebound, right, be right. able to rebound off of him and figure out and ways we can improve both in both aspects. Very good. And so dad, as a coach, what is it about Colton that's going to make him uh, a force to be reckoned with in college soccer? Well <clears throat> he just he does his motor just doesn't quit. He he works the whole time. It's a new term we started using, I guess, or I've heard is uh, uh, work rate and on the field, uh, you know. And I think our whole team has got a work rate that is higher than it has been in years. Mm -hmm. And that work rate makes a difference. Yeah. And that drive and doing stuff that when, <clears throat> when you see him or you see some of the other ones when other players are surprised, like, where did they come from? Right. You know, those kind of things that make a, 
make a big difference. And so, so where does he get all of this athleticism from? Does it come from you? Uh, I don't know. I, I played every sport you could play when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, several athletes in our family. My mom's brother is very athletic. So um, I'm sure and I'm, my granddaddy was athletic. So. So it's in the genes. Yes, ma'am. It's in the genes. And so, Colton, here it is. You're going to Tacoa Falls. That's a private Christian uh, university. What made you decide upon Tacoa Falls? Um, when I went to the college, it was like a different atmosphere. They felt it felt like a family there, more yeah. so than like a soccer team. Like it wasn't all mm -hmm. formal. Like when we, I sat in the locker room with them, and we sang a song before they went to the field. Like they sung a Christian song before they went and wow. they prayed. So. I just like the atmosphere there. Like mm -hmm. it was different. Like I had visited a college before, and it just felt so. Like you do this, and I just, right, right, I just right. didn't like that. And I felt at home when I was there. So, what are you gonna miss about not seeing your dad every single day? Um, let's see, I'm, I'm gonna miss him crying when somebody sings on the TV. Wait, he wait he a minute. Him. Your dad cries. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, especially watching the Voice. The Voice. Yeah, he he loves a good voice <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Now, uh, Mr. Emery Davis, what are you going to miss? Because, you know, the relationship that you build with your kids, I mean, it's something that's so beautiful and so solid. And, of course, when they do transition uh, to that bigger step of adulthood, there's some things that you're going to be used to every single day, and now you're not going to have those with Colton. What are you going to miss most about Colton? Most? It's hard to figure. Um, <laughs> We don't miss the uh, the singing, the noise in the house. Uh, we miss uh, the normal uh, bickering, I guess, between the siblings yeah. going back and forth. Those are going to be the the things that you'll you'll notice and miss out on. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, fishing, those kind of things, just the things that you normally do. Yeah. So you just have to uh, go and look for for them to happen later. That's right. Colton, anything you want to uh, leave with us in this studio audience about your dad? Um, this is a great man, y'all. <laughs> he's, he's raised me up to be the, the man that I am, so I think we should all clap for my dad. <laughs> right. um, Emery, what do you want to leave with your son? What kind of words of wisdom do you want to give him? Because you know how the road's going to be yeah. for him. Just minimize stupid. Amen. <laughs> it's the same story all the time. Yeah. He, he knows what's, what's supposed to be done and what's not. Mm -hmm. All right. And do the same. You know, treat others the way they need to be treated. That will mm -hmm. be fine. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because... Anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Dr. Collins Quartang in the City of Hope Heart Vascular Center reminds you that February is Heart Health Month. Did you know that cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of women in the United States? There's no need to put off an examination. Cardiovascular disease kills more women than cancer. One woman dies every 80 seconds in the United States due to cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease can affect women of any age. Dr. K specializes in internal medicine, echocardiography, nuclear cardiology, general adult cardiology, and interventional cardiology. Other areas of expertise include acute and chronic heart attack management, peripheral interventions to save legs from being amputated, heart rhythm abnormalities like atrial fibrillation. At City of Hope Heart and Vascular Center, we do your heart right. Call for an appointment today at 478-353-1970. Accepting new patients and walk-ins. Relax, Dublin. Dr. K and City of Hope has you covered. Hey, you can forget all the other talent. It came from his grandma. <laughs> yeah. You know the camera's on, right? Yeah, I do know that. Okay, very good. <laughs> all right, I want well, everybody <laughs> to know it came from his grandma. 
<laughs> well, you have it right here. First of all, this is his grandma here. <laughs> this is Miss Ann. How are you today? I'm good. You've already told everybody out there that all the talent that, that exudes from him and his brother and sister comes from you? That's right. And fishing. Don't forget, he loves to fish. I told him that too. <laughs> so what came from his dad? Anything or his mm, mom? Not much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Colton, talk to us about this young lady to your right here. Uh, this is my favorite woman on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, she kept me fishing, Lord fishing. We always was fishing. <laughs> but she has a, she, her personality and my personality, I got a little bit. Her, in, her motor definitely doesn't stop running. Yeah. And she'll, now be careful. Now you go to a foreign country, she gon' buy a bag. <laughs> she will buy a bag and she'll put it in another bag. So we gotta, we gotta keep her on a leash a little bit, right. just like me, so. Miss Ann, tell us about uh, this bond that you have with your grandson. Well, ever since he was little, of course, you can't say one without the other, wherever Evan is. <laughs> <laughs> to go on a trip with him was wonderful. And Emily, don't forget her. <laughs> we, we went on a lot of trips together and had mm -hmm. the best time. And to see him and to see everything that's taken place today with him going to college to continue to play in something that I think he probably have dreamt about, uh, the sport that he loves, how does that feel for you as his grandmother to be able to witness all of this? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. I got six grandsons and one granddaughter, and they're all in sports. So. Wow. So your life has been busy being yes. able to just really we're, see your we're grandchildren. Facing it. When we leave here, we're going to uh, Tennessee, Knoxville, to watch another grandson play baseball. So this is like your life, yeah, isn't it, Miss Yeah, all my kids, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And so for you, you know, you've seen your, you see your children and your grandchildren being able to, to, to grow up and to still do something they love. What kind of wisdom do you want to give to this young man because I'm telling you you know and we all know that that when you go to college and you're playing a sport and you've got a very rigorous academic schedule it can be very stressful yes. and so not having all of your friends around or your family around it could be a little bit much and so what what do you want to say to him to help him to really kind of calm those nerves that he's not necessarily talking about to just kind of help him to be prepared well you don't have to tell him a lot more because He's been raised right. Mm -hmm. His parents have taught him what needs to be done, and he knows what's right and wrong. <laughs> so he's taken the Lord with him, so he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll Anything be you fine. want to say to your, your grand, your grandmama? Yeah, I love mama. you, Grandma. I love you too, baby. Very good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I would like to say we've got the Davis triplets because that's what it looks like up here. That's we've got Evan, Evan and Emily all squished up here with Colton. Lord have mercy. Uh, we'll start with you, twin. Evan, tell us about this relationship, this bond that you have here. Um, it's a special one. Whenever <laughs> <laughs> me and Colton do a little bit of everything together. Yes. Um, whenever we aren't arguing, <laughs> we, we have a good time together. So. It's, it's a good one. So who's the, who's got the most, uh, you know, who's the most high spirited, so to speak? That yeah. One, so. Wow. Yeah, Emily, for sure. you're sandwiched in the middle here. This is how I've been the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Talk, talk to us about this bond here, this relationship, and what this feels for you all right now. I think it's all, we've always been like super close. We're only 16 months apart, so it's just kind of felt like we wow. just grew up together. We yeah. don't really notice that, you don't really notice the age. Um, and I did tell them today before we came here, I was like, I'm going to miss y'all being right next door in, in the next room asking questions about, like, outfits or, like, anything I need advice <laughs> on. Like, because they'll, they'll both be going off, and yeah, it'll be different for sure. It is. <laughs> now, Colton, your big sister there and your brother over there. <laughs> tell us about, from your perspective, about these two and your relationship and what this all means to you because you all are getting ready to go your separate ways to continue pursuing those dreams and visions that you've had talk to us about that um so we each have like our own individual like set of dreams but we all started together and we've yeah. been together so um i don't think i'd be half as good at soccer if i didn't have somebody almost equally as good to play against all the time <laughs> and emily played too so they they had the best defense and i just struggled to get by them so <laughs> we we, in so yeah. as the soccer aspect yeah. goes, they're 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 pretty equal with me. But um, Emily, at least once every Sunday morning, she goes across these shoes, this <laughs> necklace. Can you put my necklace on for me? 
Oh, can you turn my lamp off? At like 11.30, I have to leave my room, turn her lamp off, and oh go back. Oh my gosh. And so me and Evan, we, we were in the same room for like the first eight, nine years, like 10, something like that, mm -hmm. years. And then, so we, we fought like cats and dogs. <laughs> and once we finally moved apart, like mm -hmm. we were apart, but we weren't apart. Like we were right. in separate rooms, but we argued a lot less and we were able to just focus on like the fun stuff of being a twin rather than yeah. being stuck around each other all the time. <laughs> You're definitely not going to be stuck around each other now. No, definitely not. Now, Evan, tell us about what's next for you. Um, so I'm not quite sure yet, but I plan to go to the University of Georgia or Auburn mm -hmm. in order to pursue my dream of becoming a veterinarian. Very nice. And you're definitely, you're hanging up your cleats, right? Yeah. Oh, are you okay with that? Um, <laughs> be honest with me. Tell the truth. For the most part, I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know the good thing that I mean, you're going to be a veterinarian. There's club sports, there's intramurals, and you can do that kind of stuff and have fun and not feel the pressure that right. some people are going to feel. So that's you know, so that's awesome. Very good. What about you, Emily? Tell everybody what you've got going on. Um, well, I'm in nursing school. Um, I'm almost halfway through. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll be graduating next year and hopefully finding a job in labor and delivery or a NICU somewhere. Mm -hmm. So Very nice. Keeping busy. <laughs> now, Emily, now, so you, you've been in college for a while. What words of advice do you want to give to your brothers? Find some good friends. <laughs> good yeah. friends in college are always important. You want to have a group, a support group around you that knows what you're going through and can relate with you mm -hmm. and you can kind of keep beside you. Very nice. Now, um, Evan, do you want to give some words of advice to your brother or do you have any? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I just want to say just stay focused on things that are good, things that will um, benefit you, and just keep working hard. Very good. Anything you want to say to them? <laughs> uh, While you're squished together. Thanks for keeping me competitive, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We got you. Got you. What I love about you all is the relationship and the bond that you have because, of course, you all – all of these people here and you decided to squish together i've never yes. seen it before but here it is but what i think is lovely about that is that you all are very connected so even when you're going uh, to uga middle georgia to coa falls you're still going to be connected in the spirit and so that's the blessing about of how you've been raised and the connection that you all already have all right thank you guys so much thank you. Thank you. At Lakes Alignment, we would like to take this time to thank our community for your support over the last 66 years, and especially these last few months with the opening of our brand new truck center. When you drive into Lakes Alignment, you get master trained technicians like Anthony Penny. Everybody calls him Bug, but it means so much to us. And on behalf of Neil Harden, Lisa, our staff, and the entire Lake family, we thank you for supporting us since 1954. Come see us today. We open every morning at eight o'clock and now our truck center is open on Saturday to serve your big trucks and equipment from eight until 12. At Lakes Alignment, we thank you in this entire community and will continue to serve you with the best trained staff and friendly, courteous service. Lakes Alignment. Hometown people serving hometown people. Come see us today, 104 Johnson Street, East Dublin. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource. Safe, clean, efficient. All new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. We've got uh, Colton's youth pastor with us, Mr. Jacob Brown at Marie Baptist Church. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing well. Talk to us about this uh, connection you have with Cole and how you've seen him develop spiritually because, you know, going to college, even if it's a Christian university, there's still going to be different peer pressures and things that he's going to have to uh, make sure that he's keeping in, in, uh, in check. So tell us about this connection. Uh, well, when the Lord first called my wife and me to Marie Baptist Church seven months ago, uh, the Davises were the first family that really that we started getting really close to. The first two students that I went out and had lunch with were Colton and Evan. And so 
Um, Evan, our Colton shows a lot of passion in what he does. He's mm -hmm. the main one that I can count on to help lead worship on um, Sunday nights in our student worship services. So being able to be um, a part of that with him and um, helping to lead worship with him and do all that is a fun experience. Wow. And so how, how important is your, uh, your spiritual connection, your faith, as far as being an athlete, a student athlete, going off to college, how big a part does your faith play in all of this? Um, it definitely played a big part in me deciding where I wanted mm -hmm. to go to college because when I was looking around, it was like, I was I was looking like on my recruiting app that I use, it asked if I wanted to be like, or if I would prefer to be in a religious college and mm -hmm. like God checked yes. So it was definitely a big deal going into choosing a college because right. that's what, that's what Tacoa, uh, that's what they preach. That's mm -hmm. Coach Hugh is all about. He does the devotion. We did, we did the song. So, um, I mean, I, at one of his camps, somebody at the camp asked, "Why does he keep praying?" <laughs> it's like, do you know where you are? Right. Uh, so right. that, so that was that was a strange experience. But um, my faith for me is important because even though I'm on the field and it's me that's on the field, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's God behind me pushing right. and. So that, that's why it's important. I love that. And uh, Jacob, uh, tell us about what do you want to say to Colton because you want to uh, continue. You're a mentor to a lot of young men in that church, and, and you see him, the, the maturation of him as far as the things of the spirit as well as getting to this point here. Any words that you'd like to give with him that will stick with him? The um, One of the pieces of scripture that we sort of accentuate the most in our student group is Romans 8.28. And that basically tells us that for everyone that, that loves the Lord and trusts in Him and is working towards Him, um, He's working everything together for us. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that Colton believes that. Um, and so for Colton, the soccer field is his stage. It, it can be his altar all at the same time. And so just pushing forward in that, because the same thing is true for all of us. It's true mm -hmm. for Colton at Tacoa. Um, the Everything that we can try to find to make us our most good or to right. our dreams to get us what we really want mm -hmm. is still not going to add up to anything unless we have the Lord as the purpose of our lives. That's right. And I believe that Colton believes that. And so I'm just looking forward to a lot of Davis family trips up to Tacoa. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Thank you so much, Pastor, for how you have definitely poured into the lives of the young people at Marie Baptist and, and uh, that you continue in praying for them. So we appreciate you very much. Thanks, All right, we've got Mr. Uh, Jesus Flores with us. How are you, Jesus? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see you. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Now, Jesus, you also are a senior. Yes, ma'am. And how long have you all known one another? Uh, sixth grade. Sixth grade. Yes, so you guys have been friends and teammates for that long. Yes, Talk to us about the friendship that you have, and as, especially, too, as teammates, because I know that having friends and, and you being teammates, you're able to push one another and, and, you know, hold one another accountable. So talk to us about it. Oh, uh, <laughs> so I, I met him um, in sixth grade, mm -hmm. and he, he's taught me a lot. You know, he's, he's really good at the sport. Um, over the years, I, 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 I've now, um, <laughs> you right. I can trust him. He, mm -hmm. He's a really good teammate. Um, he, even Evan, all, all of them, yeah. if I ever need anything, I, I, I know they can help me. Um, he's just a, a really good person. I love that. Colton, talk to us about Jesus, please. Um, Jesus, <laughs> Lord, I don't know if anybody has almost the same amount of energy as me. It'd probably be Jesus. <laughs> Oh, remember, we, Jesus came over to our house and he put he beat me and Evan both uh, <laughs> on the floor of our living room, <laughs> and he wouldn't let us go either. He was just having a ball, and like when I get home, yeah. I don't have as much energy as I do because I expended right. it all during the day, entertaining all of you. So, um, <laughs> so Jesus, like I was sitting there just like, and Jesus knew how to just keep it up, keep it going, and Jesus's energy comes out in more private settings, but. Uh, because when I, all the times that I've interviewed you, Jesus, you've been a little bit low key with me. Is that just? <laughs> Is that just because you know? Why is that? I've 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 known you for some years. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm really just nervous, really all the time. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Do I make you nervous? Of it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I think is cool about the re the relationships and the friendships that you all have had, and of course with me, I've I've known several of these kids for years, and having interviewed them as they were younger coming up at camps and of course with um, you know indoor soccer when I I've known these kids for quite some time so just being able to hear them hear your stories and I'm sorry you're nervous Jesus <laughs> but it's just you know it does my heart good because to see you all how you've grown 
and to see the relationships that you all have. And now, of course, you're both getting ready to, um, to turn that tassel soon. He's on. What's changed about you, Colton, uh, to make you the person that you are today? Because when you make a, you can take an assessment of yourself of things that you've had to work on through the years, you know, and uh, to, for you to, to, to grow up. Uh, what's changed about you through the years, Colton? I think it would have to be a mindset change, because mm. in middle school it was just soccer's fun, you know. Yeah. And then so as I got a, like went through it, got better at it, I decided that I wanted to do it like full time, I guess you could say. But mm -hmm. um, so I definitely would have to be a mindset change because yeah. if you if you don't got the right mindset, it ain't it ain't gonna happen for you. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And you know, he, Jesus, you're following in your brother's footsteps. You're, you've decided to go into the military, yes, to the That's army. Great. What made you decide to make that personal commitment yourself? Uh, it's, it's mostly my brother, because uh, in our family, we're actually the first ones to, mm -hmm. to do that. And um, I, I mean, I just, it's, it's, it's a really good way to pay for college. Yeah. And I mean, the, the job that I'm choosing, I, I feel like it'll be a really good job for me. What are you going to be doing in the military? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll become a, a, a full-time diesel mechanic. Oh, that is fantastic. And look at this. I know your mom, I know your parents are so proud of you and your siblings. And so what kind of words of wisdom do you want to give to uh, the young people out there, to your, your teammates, your peers? Because you all are transitioning, whether it's still in high school, going to college, or going into the military, you are all transitioning. And so what words uh, would you like to leave with uh, the people out there, please? I would say just follow your personal dream. Yeah. Like if you want to do it, do it. <laughs> like get it done. Like yeah. find a way to get it done. Like I went through all the steps of recruiting, emailing coaches. I I, I got it done. Yeah. And I think anybody that puts their mind to something can get it done as yeah. well. Yeah. Commitment. What about you, Jesus? I mean just work just work hard for for what you're trying to achieve and mm -hmm. then it, everything will, will, will come out right. It'll come out right. And you two are living testaments of that, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. You know, this has been a great day, ladies and gentlemen, having the opportunity to chat with Colton and, and getting a little bit more of that personality, which has been quite nice. You know, and meeting his family, his friends, uh, his future coach at Tacoa Falls, and, and it's just been nice hearing everyone share about you and the relationships, the bonds that you have, and their excitement about what the future holds for you. It's been really awesome. Yes, ma'am. Any last words? You're good? I'm good. <laughs> You're good, Jesus? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Colton Davis has signed a soccer scholarship to Tacoa Falls. He's about to be a screaming eagle. Love it. We're so <laughs> proud of him. You know, it's a great day to be a Raider, and it's also a great day to be a part of the Lawrence County School District. Thank you all so much for watching, and we are Team Lawrence.